It's a beautiful day for a drive and you've probably already seen this 2023 F-150 Lightning with a dual E motor because it's fully electric with extended range but we've added in brand new wheels and tires and inside it has gray and black perforated leather seats seating for five the four doors with a five and a half foot box and it's really easy to take this vehicle out on a test drive you can book that online at islandford.ca Stay tuned, we're gonna have a look under the hood and inside and out. I've just pushed the button on the inside of the vehicle to open up the front. This is the front trunk or frunk. It's one of the largest ones that any electric vehicle has in the truck variety. And you've got this lower compartment as well. You've got the flat area here that you can put items very easily. There's also a light in there and off to the side here, you also have your outlets, USB, USB-C, so you can charge all sorts of things. You've also got clips and tabs to secure your load. And underneath here, I'm just gonna show you, you have a light as well. And then when you're ready, just close it up and just give it a push. And actually, just give the button a push right there and it'll go right down for you. You can hear it chiming, so it lets you know it's going down securely. Now, one of the reasons you're seeing this front trunk area that's so large is because you do not have an engine. You have a motor, you have a dual extended range motor in it that gives you the range to be able to take off and go on your latest adventures. Storage and speaker in the door with the B&O badging for your audio system. Power locks, windows and mirrors, as well as memory for three drivers. Driver and passenger seat are both powered with lumbar and you've got these nice leather trim seats with the gray insert and the platinum badging. Off to the side here, you're seeing your electronic parking brake, power pedals, high mount lighting, lighting controls, LED side view mirror spotlights, the front trunk release and the tailgate release, power tilt and telescoping steering wheel and you have your running board and grab handle making it easier to get in. On the face of the steering wheel we have our lane keeping cruise control volume menu hands-free dialing. Now this is a push start so my foot's on the brake keys in the pocket and we're going to push the engine start stop button. One of the things you're going to notice is this is extremely quiet. This is an electric vehicle completely electric plug-in vehicle and so it has a motor not an engine. Let's go into the menu and I'm just going to get in there. And I did not start the vehicle. So <laughs> that's one of the reasons it's so very quiet. Let's bring that in. And you'll see that it says on the left hand side, ready. And so my view, trip, truck info, towing, navigation, phone, audio, settings, and these all have submenus. On the left-hand side, you're seeing the range. And again, because it's an electric vehicle, you're not using gas, you're using electricity. So it's telling you what your range is in the battery. In the center here, we have our display screen. So we can touch on different options. You're seeing that you have the dual climate control. Your volume for your media is in the center and your front and rear defrost. And there's your fan. You can touch on the car for different options here and it's gonna show you off to the side. So you've got your drive modes, normal, sport, off-road, tow, haul. Additional settings, the one pedal drive, locking differential, propulsion sound. You've got your camera. And so this is showing where we are in space. And this is showing us off the front. Now, if I put the vehicle in reverse, we're gonna see the back camera view, and that's yellow, sorry, green, yellow, red, which is telling us how close we are to other objects or vehicles when going in reverse. This red line is just a protective cover. The center line here, the dotted line, is your center line. You're towing, you wanna to line up. This is a great way to uh, get that done. And then we're gonna put us back into park for safety's sake. And then the other things we have, towing, zone lighting, pro power on board. Um, and then you can go into that for the different options. You can go into your settings here so you can play with this. Go to the apps. You've got your navigation, Apple CarPlay, your media, Android Auto, your owner's manuals in there. Say you're having a picnic and you wanna play a game, you can go into Sketch, lots of options there. And then down below, you've got your front uh, defrost, your hazard lights, parking, 
assist and your traction control. And then in the cubby here, you've got your USB, USB-C, you've got a wireless charging pad. You just press and it'll close right up. Automatic shifter and you can make this go down. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, because you have the ability to open up your armrest and make it into a workstation. So you can have a nice flat surface. You can have lunch, put your computer there, whatever you want to do, but you still have an armrest. So you can just open that up and down below, you've got a little bin, USB, USB-C. And then off to the side here, you've got your pro trailer backup, integrated trailer brake controller. You've got your 12 volts, your 120 located there. You've got two glove compartments. One's locking and the other one, you just push the button and that'll release that. Grab handle in the body, auto dimming rear view mirror. You've got your lighting controls, universal garage door opener, sunglass holder. You've got a power sliding window in the rear and you've got a power screen and power moonroof. So if we press that and it's a little bit wet, I'm not going to open it up. But if you press that, you would open that up and power it open. So you can choose to have light and air uh, simply by pushing a couple of buttons that simple. And then you're ready to take 22 inch wheels, black running board, body color door handle with intelligent access. That means when the fob's in close proximity, you can lock and unlock the doors and keyless entry keypad. You've got your lightning badging and that is because this vehicle is a fully electric vehicle and a brand new 2023 lightning. And in the rear, you're seeing the LED lights come on. Above the handle, you have body colored accents, which coincide with the door handles. And when the LED lights go off, you'll notice in the center there, that's where your backup camera is located. Backup sensors on your bumper, four and seven pin connector, trailer hitch, and a locking spare tire. And then when you're ready and you want to bring down that tailgate, you just simply double click your fob. And again, the LED lights come on, it blinks at you, so you know it's coming down. And then inside, you've got a good size box, tie downs in all four corners, as well as box link. You've got the LED lights, as well, you've got your Pro Power Pack here. And you've also got a little workstation, if you will. It's got metric and imperial uh, rulers. And as well, you've got clamps on the left and the right, so that if you want to clamp on anything to do some work there, you can. And then you've got your tailgate step. That's just a pole that pulls out and stands upright to give you some stability to get in and out. And then when you're ready and you want to bring that tailgate back up, simply close up the tailgate step, give it a push, double click your fob, it'll chime at you and it'll power it up. How great is that? And then when you're ready and you want to take off, you can lock up your vehicle and go out on your latest adventure, you can lock it up. And then when you come back, you can double click to remote start it speaker in the door as well as power windows and you've got a grab handle in the body making it easier to get in there's seating for three with a 60 40 split simply lift the seats with one hand it's in the upright position and you've got this nice bin down below it's collapsible and as well lockable then just pull the tab it'll bring the seat right down you have anchors at the base to be able to tether baby seats and there's an armrest in the center with a couple of cup holders as well slim pockets on the back of the front seat in the center a couple of cup holders for the people back here, heated seats, those are those little red seats you're seeing, and you have a 12 volt USB, USB-C, as well as a 120, and the air vents on either side. There's extra carpet mats on the floor, another grab handle on the driver's side, twin panel moonroof, and there's hooks, tabs off to the side and lighting. In the back, power sliding window with rear body colored bumper, five and a half foot box, privacy glass in the back windows, adjustable side view mirrors with blind spot information system, LED lighting, tow hooks, front sensors, and so many more reasons to visit us. If you like this video and would like to see more, please subscribe. We have plenty to share with you and we love to hear your comments.